still talking education matters. The treasured point of Light Foundation in collaboration with the Sponsors Forum of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Abelkota Branch, has empowered over 450 primary and secondary school students in the Akiali community in Iwikura local government area of Ogun State in preparation for the forthcoming school term. As part of its Back to School Outreach Initiative, the Foundation awarded 10 scholarships to deserving students and provided essential supplies, including school bags, shoes, lunch bags, food flasks, water bottles, and stationery. Dami Lola Oneba Mui, the president of the Foundation, highlighted that this initiative aims to motivate children to return to school despite the prevailing economic challenges in the nation. She urged parents to prioritize their children's education, emphasizing its importance regardless of the current economic climate. Additionally, Ron Kaido, president of the Sponsors Forum of the Nigerian, Security, Nigerian Society of Engineers at Belkota Branch, stated that the forum chose to collaborate with the foundation due to the high value that spouses of engineers place on education. Today we're reaching out to 450 children of the Akiali community. And we're doing this as a means of encouragement, you know, to encourage a child back to school. The economy is really, really very wonderful. Many things are actually discouraging. We have people dropping out of school randomly. But in our own little way, we want to encourage a child back to school. And then we're doing this for this community. Parents, please put priority on the education of your children. No matter how hard the economy is, we will shall still eat. We're still going to, you know, have to do one or two things. Some will even still prioritize partying and buying a shoe be over their um, child's education. But please, we want to send a message across to you. Do well to prioritize and value your child's education. It won't cost you anything, really. But for now, we're doing 10 scholarship slots. And one is given to a very special child, Shemi Lori. And that's because we found out that many children who are special needs children, some don't go to school. Some don't even have any encouragement to go to school. Some parents are not even encouraging them to go to school. But for Shemi Lori, he's been going to school, you know, we want to just encourage him to do better at school. He's doing fantastic. So we have a slot for a special child. For children, going back to school, don't focus on the limitation, but look ahead, look on the bright side. We have people who didn't, you know, have school shoes going to school as they were growing up, but today they are engineers, they are governors, they are even presidents. So you can be anything you set out to be. Don't focus on what you don't have, rather look inwards at what you have and what you can also be. We decided to part out with the foundation because we say education. Education has changed in the life of both ourselves and our husbands, which are engineers. And with that, we need to empower the society. We should give the children more empowerment so that they can have a brighter future and they can as well be educated because we need more female engineers. No, it's not only female engineers, they're both male and female. But because they feel the profession is mainly for men, so they think it's just men, it's just the boys that should go into the field, which no, it is not. It is for both the male and the female children. So that's the reason why we want to empower the children. They should see education as something important. Obviously, if you are educated, the way you are going to do things will be different from someone that is not. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.